so I had these old windows in the basement and I'd taken them out of a building I was working on and they, they were literally collecting dust so I didn't want to throw them out but I had, they, can't, they couldn't sit in the basement any longer so I went online and took a look at see what other people had done with old windows so, I mean there's hundreds of ideas of, of what to do with these things so I figured well I'll find something so I took a look and decided on something that I wanted to do and went to the table saw, cut out some backers so I have something to attach it to and cut them out so that they'd be the same size as the window panes once they were all cut I put them in place and then attached some hardware so that I could hang it. Now you want to make sure that when you're hanging a picture frame that you twist the wires around each other not just one wire around the other. If you do that then you risk the w one wire slipping out. But if you twist them both together then the friction of them twisted will keep it from falling. Looks about good. So once that was done, then it was on to kind of upholstering. Um, I took the pieces that I had cut that fit in the windows, and I had these scraps that I had made up, and just kind of upholstered them in place. I'm certain there's some upholstery people out there that are cringing right now, but the idea was basic. It was just using up scraps. I'd start with attaching the center of one side and then go to the opposing side and pull it together. That way, constantly working from opposite sides, that you pull the fabric evenly. Basic idea of upholstering. Now, normally you would use backer and and uh, padding, staples, and all this stuff. But again, this this project was basically just made out of scraps. I just wanted to make something with this window. So at the moment, I'm kind of just using duct tape. piece. Not too bad. Alright, now that I had it, the picture frame hanger on and I had all my pieces, now I had to make sure that my little pieces of fabric didn't move. So I got, again, another piece of scrap and then cut out some little blocks just to go underneath it to make up the difference between the frame and where my, my fabric pieces were attached. I made sure that the blocks that I had cut were just slightly higher than what I actually needed. That way when I screwed down my long piece of, of wood, it would actually kind of compress them in place, create kind of a, a bit of a spring just to hold everything down. to be really careful at this point because I was drilling 
through the tiny little mutton bar, which is only about a quarter inch wide and maybe about a half inch tall. So really small screws, <laughs> really, really careful. Around about this time, I got a shop visitor. Everyone should get shop visitors every now and then. <laughs> and this little guy will do anything for a treat. Come on, give me your paw. And now he'll try anything. Maybe? Eh, we'll try that one later. Anyways, back to this. So I finished putting all the screws in. Let's have the last one right here. Again, be very careful. Because that's a very, very thin piece of wood. And there we go. I think that turned out pretty cool. Considering it was entirely out of scraps.